Are you guys ready for your next act? Yeah! All right, your next act can be seen March 19th at her very own show at the Diving Bell Social Club called The Battle of Wits. Very funny show, it's a trivia show with comedians. Hilarious. You can also see her March 20th at the Get Fucked Comedy Show. If you've heard that before, you've been paying attention. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Miss Elspeth Wright. So it's kind of tricky being named Elspeth, just because every time I meet someone new, I have to do this whole song and dance of explaining my name to them. Like, hi, I'm Elspeth, nice to meet you. Like, no, no, close, close, good try. Elspeth, Elspeth. Oh, all spice. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> and it goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until eventually some girl named Jessica, who's going with two Zs, a Y, and a K, is just like, oh, honey, your name's weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, I recently started dating again. Who else is dating here? Anyone? No. Okay. Woo! Um, a couple other saddies, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, no, you know what they say? You know what they say? Like, dating is just like riding a bicycle? That's so true. I always have a sore ass and scabby knee when I Sort of like, sort of boost myself up. I went out and I bought a bunch of new underwear, like just in case. <laughs> and as I was putting the new sexy underwear in the drawer next to my old underwear, I realized just how gross my old underwear is. <laughs> I think we have seen some nods. We all have those pairs, you know. Have a laundry day, you like take them out, like dust them off. There's like, is this a family heirloom? I don't remember. Finding this. They've got holes, they've got stains. They're so old and so gross that they could be president of the United States. <laughs> They're so bad. So I put on some new underwear and I went out on a date. And I knew that this date was gonna be bad the second I smelled the guy. Yeah, you've been there, you know. Yeah, this guy was just like pickled in cologne. And it was the type of cologne that smells like if you could bottle a guy going, if I could just play devil's advocate. Like, that, oh, it was so bad, it was so bad. So I went home and you know, I have no self-respect so I got back on the apps. On the dating apps, and uh, one thing I don't like about dating apps is when I'm using them a lot, I just get like more and more dick pics. And a lot of dating apps don't allow people to send pictures for that reason. But as I mentioned, my name is Elspeth. I am very easy to find on social media. So I just get lots of like DMs, and I'm like, oh, a stranger sending me a picture. Maybe it's a puppy. Like, it's not. Why do I always look? It's always just a weird dick. <laughs> and, it's, ugh. and so, you know, but the other day I got one that was very, very memorable. It wasn't a dick pic. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't a puppy. It was an ass. <laughs> and like, not just like, a, like an entire ass. The guy was down. All fours. Yeah, like, his whole ass. I could, I could see into him. I could see him for breakfast I could see his soul. He is part of me now. Like, just his whole ass. And once I stopped looking at his ass, I noticed his face. Because that was also in the picture. So it's his whole ass. Like this. Everything. And then this face! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
so I've been spending a lot of time alone. <laughs> yeah, just alone on Facebook, just, you know, looking at pictures of my husband. He doesn't, he doesn't know we're married yet, because we've only met once, but like, we'll get there. So, technicalities, it's fine, it's fine. And I was on Facebook and I saw an ad for this store called Witch. Have you guys Wish, yeah. seen yeah. that? Yeah. They're always selling the weirdest stuff. Like today, yeah, today it was trying to sell me a wig, a cock ring, and just a loose bag of teeth. <laughs> standard, standard things. The last time I saw that trio together was when I looked at my grandma's bedside table. I was just looking for an Advil, but uh, it's good to know the old gals still got it. <laughs> good job, Patricia! <laughs> Look, guys, I don't want to brag, but um, I think I'd be really good at getting kidnapped. <laughs> I'd be scared at first, obviously. I'd be, I'd be startled. But after a couple of minutes, I'd be like, wait a second. There are three million people in Montreal. This guy had options. <laughs> but he picked me. <laughs> after a couple of minutes, I'd be like scooching my way up to the front of his windowless white van, just like, <laughs> Look, I know it hasn't been long since you like hogtied me and threw me in here, you silly goose. <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna say it. I love you. <laughs> shocked to learn that I do go to therapy. <laughs> I absolutely love therapy. I love it. I love it. <laughs> if I could change it just a little bit, just a little tweak, I do wish that it was graded. Because I'd be getting an A plus for how well I'm dealing with my constant need for validation. <laughs> uh, yeah, in therapy I talk a lot about sort of healthy ways to deal with my anxiety. And so what I've done is I've actually started a band. We're made up entirely of people who get anxiety while wholesale shopping. We're called Panic at the Costco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I started therapy because I was diagnosed with a borderline personality disorder, BPD if you're feeling sassy, <laughs> and uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. It's a little more famous, no big deal. And there's a lot of stigma around these two mental illnesses, and I want to change that. Some would call me a hero. Uh, I know. So what I've started doing is putting those letters after my name. Else <laughs> that's right, BPD, PTSD, nice to meet you. <laughs> oh my goodness, is Allspice a doctor? <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Elspeth Wright. She's going upstairs, she can't hear you, so. Yeah.